Hi everybody, this is Michelle with the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers and welcome to Tuesdays with Michelle. Now this is a very impromptu uh, video so I might stumble a little bit. I um, just didn't have a whole lot of time to do it this week so I am doing it really quickly and I'm not real real prepared so uh, bear with me. Now since it is really close to Halloween when I'm filming this um, I thought I would show you a really cool Digi kit made by Karen from Snickerdoodle Designs by Karen. Um, she is, it is on sale, the whole collection is on sale for 58% off, and she's also giving us an extra 10% off uh, for the next two days. So it's gonna, this offer is only until Halloween midnight, October 31st. So you're gonna have to use the um, coupon code before then. Here, the coupon code, let me see if I can zoom in here so you can write this down, is N, and this is all caps, N-A-O-D-S, and then hyphen, capital E, X, T-R-A, 10, hyphen, capital L, I-L, capital T, OTS. Now write that down and um, if you wanted to purchase that in the next two days go ahead and do that. It's only going to be like under $10 or somewhere around $10 for the whole entire collection or you can just get some of the pieces for 10% off uh, and, and her additional percentage off whatever it is on her site. So let me just show you some of the different pages that come with the whole collection. This right here is uh, all, all of the quick pages. So they're already done for you. All you have to do is put in your own photo. Now, if you want to learn more about quick pages, uh, you can go inside the membership area and we do have a whole section on how to use quick pages. Some of the other things she has um, are some really, really cute elements. Um, I just, uh, went ahead and got some of the borders and some of the elements they are all zipped out um, I had to unzip them but some of these are um, just adorable so let me go ahead and kind of show you how you could use some of these pieces I'm also going to show you what you get let's see here let me go into the folder itself because I do have to unzip some of them and I'll show you how to unzip them. You download them first, they come as a zipped file and then you have to go ahead and um, unzip them. So let me go ahead into the file. And the kit by the way is called SD underscore KK LIL TOTS and I put Halloween after it, but basically it doesn't have that after it. So let me go back one level so that I can see. See here. Right down here is where I need to unzip them. So you have all of these, the alphas, the borders, there's cardstock, there's papers, there's elements. Um, let's just go, go ahead and unzip this paper. So let's see what we got, get there. So all I do to unzip it is I'm going to go ahead and copy it out of there. So I'm going to cut it out of that folder and you may have a different zip program. I'm just going to go ahead and paste it in here so it's a little bit quicker. So I'm pasting all of those papers that came with the collection and unzipping them and then they should be in that same folder there. I'm just going to, have to move them in there. They're unzipping. And now I've got all these different papers that come with the kit as well. So let's just kind of see what we have here. some really awesome different designs and such and you can change the color of the paper if you want to uh, not a problem at all I kinda like this one this one's kinda cool but you can mix and match and and take bits and pieces of these papers and create your own so let's just say I wanted to go ahead and open up that paper I'm gonna go back in to those kits scroll down to the paper that I want to open it gives you a little bit of a thumbnail there so if I wanted to combine some papers and such go ahead and open that one up and look at the detail on this love this or I can pull in some elements from the kit as well so I'm going to go to some of the elements that I have that I have already unzipped and let's just bring in a couple of these so I'm going to highlight both of them I'm just going to take my move tool and I can place them as well. I don't know why I don't do it that way. Some, I'm just so used to dragging and dropping, but you can place those elements in. And let me just show you how to do that. Just go File, 
and place and then go find your element. This little ladybug is adorable and it will place inside of your paper as well. Then you can bring in your own photos. You can use some of the borders that she has. Let me just show you the board, some of the border. Actually, you know what? I'm going to place it. I'm going to place a border. Try and get used to that way of thinking there. Whenever you you do it the away for so long, you kind of forget that placing can be quicker. Uh, let's just bring in one of these borders. Let's see this one here. And see how easy you can make your own design. Let's go ahead and open this up by just placing some of these pieces. Okay. Get the little ladybug out here. I know I'm not really prepared to make my own page, but I'm usually just giving you some ideas. Um, those of you who are creative can use some of these pieces. Let me go ahead and place a photo in here, just one of my own. So I'm going to go back to my photos folder. Um, I don't have any Halloween pictures just yet, but let's just go in here and get a pumpkin patch picture and place that in there, and then we'll be good to go. So normally, all of these photos um, that come inside, oops, that come inside of the kits, the papers are 12 by 12 at 300 resolution. They're all set for you to do these 12 by 12s. Now you can change them to 8 by 8 if you want to by just going under image, resizing, and image size. You can do it that way. Just heard the doorbell ring. I didn't put my do not disturb up there. My son should be running down the stairs any second now. Of course, I remember this is an impromptu class, so I might have some interruptions here. I'm just going to go ahead and place that photo again. Let's go in here, place, and there it is. Let's go ahead and close. I have to hold down my shift key to constrain the proportions. And now you can see how easy it is to use a kit and create your own layout. Um, like I said, if you did want to go in there and you wanted to change the size of that, you can change it from image to resize and image size. Now we know it is an 8 by 8 at 300 resolution. You can save all these layers if you save this as a PSD file. So you would say File, Save As, and then make sure that PSD is selected there, and then you would name it whatever, Halloween or whatever you want to name it. Okay, Save it in fo your folder and now you've got the PSD so if you wanted to go back and make some changes. When you are all the way finished you can save it as a JPEG and it's easier and it's compressed and it will be easier to upload if you wanted to get this professionally printed. Or you can just go ahead and print it from your own printer if you're doing 8x8. Um, you could cut it to size. Um, and then you can, if you wanted to, you could do 6x6 six because six, they do come in 6x6 six six sizes. But normally 8x8, eight 12x12. Eight, 12 12. Now there is the 10x10 10 10 now. I don't know if you've all heard, but you can do 10x10s and send it into Shutterfly. Not Shutterfly. Yeah, it is Shutterfly actually. And um, they do 10 by 10s now, which is actually, I think, the perfect size. If you want to find out more about digi-scrapping or if you wanted to um, check out our uh, Facebook site, it's www.facebook.com slash learn photo editing. Go ahead and like us and I'll be sure to let you know when our upcoming classes are going to be held. You can also check us out at naods.com. Find out what kind of classes are being held. Memberships are great because you kind of get a kickstart on learning. You get all kinds of free um, classes inside the membership area and we do have live classes a couple times a month for members only. So check that out. If you have any questions, let me know. I do want to show you where to get that um, kit. If you want to go to Snickerdoodle Designs by Karen and let me see if I can zoom in to her website here. Go ahead and go there. I usually just click on store and then I do the search and I'm just going to type in Halloween I think. That should get me there. Remember, you only have uh, until October 31st to get the additional 10% off. Any of the Little Tots collections kit, um, that would also be 10% off. But I would suggest you go for the entire collection because it's 58% off plus an additional 10% um, off 
for NAOD's watchers. So that is, let me read off that again to you, N-A-O-D-S, all caps, hyphen, capital E, X-T-R-A, 10, that's one zero, hyphen, capital L-I-L, capital T-O-T-S. And be sure to download that and get that for around $10. Thanks for joining me, everybody, and I hope to see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye.